Good news everybody, it's Ed. Look at my latest toy. I put this together myself. It's a little uh, project of mine. Years ago I uh, was taking electronics courses in college, many, 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 many years ago, and I worked with something called microcontrollers. Microcontrollers are basically computers on a chip. One single chip has a computer on it. Mind you, this computer is nothing like the computer you have on your desktop. The computer that you have on your desktop is uh, capable of running hundreds, if not thousands of programs, has tons of memory, is a massive thing that can run tons of programs at once. Whereas a microcontroller is a small, dedicated computer on a, on a microchip, and it's meant to be more focused. It tends to run one or two things at one time. So it's more like a, uh, well, it's a focused computer is what it is. Anyway, I've been experimenting with some microcontrollers lately. The price has been is incredibly cheap nowadays, which enables me to dabble without uh, taking out any loans <laughs> for the equipment. So what I've got here is a little experiment I put together. What you're looking at is a breadboard. It's what we use to put an electronic circuit together to play around with things. It's not very permanent. Basically, you can see there's little holes in here, and you basically plug components into there. And if you want to move things around, change it, you can wire things up very quickly this way. Normally you would see a circuit on something like this. That's a finished product, but obviously we're not at the finished product stage. <coughs> so, what have you got here? What have we got here? All right, for starters, starting from the left over to the right, we have, whoops, we have a battery, nine volt battery, which plugs into the breadboard right there. This is a voltage regulator chip, which basically takes the nine volt unregulated voltage from the battery and converts it into five volts regulated. It's a very stable, clean voltage, five volts that everything on the board can use. The voltage then goes to the microcontroller and here is the microcontroller in all of its glory. Let's see if we can't zoom in on that. Oh, that's good enough. So from the microcontroller, we then have some wires that go this way to five LEDs. And we have the microcontroller also plugging into this, a miniature speaker. The miniature speaker then plugs into the microcontroller, as I said. Also, the microcontroller has plugged into it an LCD. So we can display characters, numbers, messages, etc. And I've also plugged a keyboard connector into the breadboard, which then plugs into the microcontroller. And surprise, surprise, a keyboard is then connected to the microcontroller. So you have a little miniature computer on a chip, which is plugged into a bunch of LEDs. It's plugged into a speaker. It's plugged into an LCD. And it's plugged into a keyboard. Well, what's that you say? You want to see this thing in action? All right, here we go. I only have one hand, so this is a little bit difficult now, isn't it? Here we go, okay. Now we look at our little circuit here, and we see the computer started up all by itself, and we got some LEDs going back and forth, kind of like the uh, Battlestar Galactica Cylon dealie going on there, or maybe the Knight Rider from the 80s. Oh, we all remember that TV show, don't we? <laughs> all right, now. We will then go over to the keyboard here. We're going to type a message. And what do we see on the screen? Well, look at that. I typed hello there and hello there appears on the screen. Hmm, isn't that just neat? There you go, Ed says hello. So that is the fruits of my labor. We have ourselves a little miniature computer on a chip, which was programmed by me. So I have a little program running on there and life is good and I will go away now. Have a nice day, everybody.